Yo, what is up, all you guys out there? The name is Tekken He, bringing you guys another Call of Duty Advanced Warfare gameplay commentary on the topic of Black Ops 3. Now, what the topic is about today is actually a very controversial one, which is pretty much Call of Duty's exclusiveness to the PS4. Now, for those guys that are probably unaware, ever since probably before Modern Warfare 2, Call of Duty has had this monthly exclusiveness or exclusivity, however it's pronounced, to Microsoft, to their Xbox. And we've seen this, this happens throughout DLCs, any kind of updates, anything that goes on within the Call of Duty realm, pretty much Microsoft gets it first. Now, they say that after Advanced Warfare, the contract is officially done with. We don't know yet if they're going to renew it because they did the same thing for, I believe, Black Ops 2. They renewed it. But we don't know yet for Advanced Warfare. It still hasn't happened yet. We still have yet to get confirmation of it. Might get it for E3. Or maybe we might get a different exclusivity contract this time for Sony. And in all honesty, it kind of makes sense. Now, just going to say this first. And that is, please, please, please. Do not put any hate in the comments down below. I do not want this to be a console war battle. I'm just saying from my opinion, in my opinion only. But I'm just going to say it right here, PlayStation 4 is so far looking to be the better console for a lot of games. And Call of Duty being one of them. For one... Activision or like all gaming companies, they look for money. They look for the things that would give them the most beneficial promotion to their game. And going with Sony is actually a smart decision now because as we've seen in the sales, the PlayStation 4 has sold million times more, or not million times, but millions upon millions of units more than the Xbox One. I don't even think Xbox One has sold over the 10 million yet, but we do know that PlayStation has already surpassed that a while back. So already, their Activision is probably looking at it like the more people, more people are already playing on the PlayStation 4. Now we don't know yet numbers-wise on their servers. You know, there still might be more people playing on the Xbox One for COD, but just knowing that there are more people overall playing on the PS4 means that there's a higher chance of a bigger promotion for the PlayStation gamers. Another thing, and this is where some of the console war things might start kicking in, but the PlayStation 4 has been proven to be more powerful than the Xbox One. And we see it with so many next-gen released games that the PlayStation 4 visually is a lot better than the xbox one take advanced warfare for example every time i see a advanced warfare gameplay i can easily easily tell which console it's on i can easily tell if it's on playstation 4 or xbox one simply because i'm sorry to say this but the xbox one's quality is kind of shitty and this was even said for Ghost as well, even though I never paid too much attention to Ghost because Ghost was just that much of a turnoff for me. But those who have played, they have even said too that Ghost was visually better on the PlayStation 4, whereas on the Xbox One, it really didn't keep up with it. Same thing can be said for Advanced Warfare. Advanced Warfare's PS4 just looks so much better than it does on the Xbox One. And I can't really see Activision saying that we're going to stick with the Xbox version. Even though it's, you know, visually less appealing than the PlayStation 4. I think they really want to go for something that will really let the people, you know, appreciate the game that they bought. So PS4 sounds like another chance for them to go. Also, many people are even saying that, in, including the YouTubers, that the Xbox One is 
kind of like a piece of shit compared to PlayStation 4. The PlayStation 4 is just superior, in all honesty. And I'm, again, sorry for all you Xbox One lovers. You know, I do know you guys exist. I'm not saying that the Xbox One is a bad console. I'm just saying that it just doesn't compare as much to PlayStation 4. And this is just something that Mike that not Microsoft but Activision is looking at. This is something that they are paying attention to. They are paying attention to the many reviews, to the stats that have been proven between these two consoles. And from what we've seen, PlayStation 4, Sony, it might be their time. It's finally our time to get the monthly uh, exclusiveness that Microsoft has been getting for years upon years. Now, what if there just was no exclusiveness? I still don't know if I'm saying that word right. What if no console got the edge upon one another? What if all the DLCs, all the updates, what if they all came out on both consoles at the same time? Honestly, I think that would be so much better. I think it's a lot better when you do something like that because you're catering to the full audience and you're not making people regret buying the game on a certain console. One of the problems that I always had for buying my Call of Duty games on the PlayStations was that the DLCs and all the updates, I, w I would just be getting it a month late. Now, I always... I always try to look at the positive side and think, well, at least the Xbox users can play it out. At least they can review it. At least they can show me what it's about. So I at least know if it's worth it or not. But in all honesty, though, it just feels a lot better to just get it day one, to get it right when it's fully released and just enjoy it with everybody else. I think it's just so much more better, especially when you're on YouTube. Where trying to get the video out first really matters. I just feel like being a PlayStation user, it it just hurts. It hurts us a lot. Because just like the DLC is out for Xbox One first. And the PlayStation users are just like, I can't make any videos on the DLC because we don't even have it yet. And we won't be getting it for another month. And then by the time it finally comes out, it's just like, is it even worth trying to make videos on the DLC? Because many people have already been seeing many different videos on it already for an entire month. It just doesn't seem fair for the YouTubers. Gamers all together, though. It just doesn't seem fair that a certain, a certain audience is getting cut off just for the love of money companies have or love just because they love the money they are willing to separate the community and say if you're on this console you're screwed day one you know i really don't like the fact that they do that but i do so believe that if it still continues i really do hope that the playstation people finally get some love because honestly, we deserve it. The console has proven time and time again within these past two years that it deserves the attention that Microsoft has gotten during 360 times. So, honestly, this is just me. This is just my opinion. Many people I know are saying the same thing too, that PlayStation, it's kind of proving, it's proved itself countless number of times after the next gen's released that it's become sorry xbox users but the playstation has become the more superior console okay it's just become the more superior console the console is prepared for next gen titles whereas xbox it hasn't been able to keep up as much i'm sorry but time and time again it's been proven to be a it's proven to be fact all right so, hopefully, Activision decides to give some love to the PlayStation Nation and announce the exclusivityness to PlayStation, the monthly exclusiveness that Microsoft has time and has gotten for years on end. Hopefully, we finally get that. 
maybe we might get that announcement come E3 time, which I think is probably June-ish. And hopefully we even get some announcements for the beta because that's also some big news that a lot of people are waiting on. So, yeah. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like. Please do comment. Not co not hate comment because I know there are going to be people who are going to be hating on my video simply because I said that PlayStation is technically better than Microsoft, even with the proof that I talked about. I know there's going to be hate, but I would just say, like, please, please try to hold back on it because either way, I'm going to ignore it. I'm just going to be straight up with you. If there's console war hate going on in the comments down below, I'm going to ignore it straight away because I really, really don't like being involved in this closed-minded, you know, console war battle. I really don't like it. I really don't. I grew up. I grew out of it. I stick with my console. Nothing you're going to say is going to make me change the Xbox, and I'm pretty sure nothing I say is going to make you change the PlayStation. So, yeah. Hope you enjoyed the video. Till next time, this has been your boy Taking Heat, and I'm out. Peace.